Uh, it's your 32nd National Convention this weekend. Uh, what's the purpose of the convention, and particularly in an election year, what are your interests? Well, you know, the convention is the place where the uh, rank and file of the uh, party, uh, we o organize in what we call party clubs that are based in cities across the uh, country. It's the time when we come together, like most organizations and other political parties, and discuss our previous work uh, and uh, assess, uh, criticize, uh, put forward plans to move the work forward. And so that's what we'll be doing over the uh, next three days. And of course, uh, the fact that this convention is taking place in an election year makes it especially important because there are huge stakes uh, in this election. You know, uh, it's uh, been said, and I think it's true, that it may be a turning point kind of a election in the history of our country. Uh, on the one side, you face a, what we think, and many others, uh, a fascist-like danger coming from Trump and uh, MAGA. Um, and on the other side, uh, you have uh, a progressive coalition that has uh, emerged uh, to move the country in a more profoundly democratic direction. Uh, and of course, that is circumscribed by uh, the problems that we have uh, around the planet, climate change, a uh, huge issue, um, probably a growing emergency. And then you have this terrible genocidal war in Gaza conducted by the uh, Israeli right, uh, funded uh, by our tax dollars, which we think is a disgrace. Uh, and then, of course, you have the situation in Ukraine uh, and the uh, Russian invasion, uh, uh, an invasion that needs to stop. The troops need to be withdrawn. NATO must stop expanding. Uh, and the people of uh, that part of the world in Eastern Europe and the Soviet, former Soviet Union need to be able to determine their own destinies like people around the world. And then you have other crisis spots in Congo, in Haiti, and so on and so forth. So, so we're in a very uh, important and unique moment uh, in our lives. And, uh, and, and, and the big thing and the important thing, I think, is that in our country, more and more we find uh, people, average rank and file people, who are taking uh, greater initiative to take control over their lives. Uh, we saw that particularly in the women's movements after the Dobbs decision, where their right to control over their bodies was uh, abrogated by the Supreme Court. And there's just been an explosion of activism to reclaim that right, that democratic right, uh, which is very important. But the fight for democracy also includes voting rights, you know, it includes uh, the right to health care, uh, the right to have a, a decent place to live, mm -hmm. and, and so on and so forth. And so these are uh, issues that are at stake uh, coming up uh, in November. Uh, 